So imagine looking on the horizon and sunrise is half the sky. Okay, that would be terrifying. Is a supernova, first of all. A supernova is an exploding star. They are among the biggest explosions of radio energy in the entire universe. Around the world, people are both excited and terrified by the fact that Betelgeuse, the red supergiant star nearest to Earth, has begun to decrease significantly in recent years. Due to the random dimming that usually precedes a supernova explosion, several people believed a big event was going to transpire. Yet Betelgeuse has refrained from erupting just yet. In the time after, this big star in the hunter constellation of Orion went faint, then brightened again, and it seems like it's going through a phase of reduced activity again. The end of Betelgeuse's existence is almost here, and astronomers are concerned about the magnitude of the explosion it will cause when it does die. Is a supernova explosion on Betelgeuse imminent and will it destroy Earth along with it? What do you think? Orion, along with the Great Bear and the Southern Cross, is among the most prominent constellations visible from Earth. Compared to the Bear and the Cross, it is larger and brighter, and it contains two first-magnitude stars, Betelgeuse and Rigel, formerly known as Beta and Alpha Orionis. Betelgeuse, a brilliant red supergiant star, blew its top in 2019, according to astronomers who analyzed data from multiple observatories, including NASA's Hubble Space Telescope. Betelgeuse shed a lot of surface material and produced a huge surface mass ejection. Nothing like this had ever been seen in a star before. The Sun's fragile outer atmosphere, the corona, is periodically ripped away in a process known as a coronal mass ejection, which happens very often on our star. On the other hand, compared to the typical CME, Betelgeuse's SME ejected 400 billion times more mass. Thus, it seems that the peculiar darkening of Betelgeuse was caused by the cloud of hot gas that the star ejected, which momentarily obscured part of its light. Betelgeuse could be as close as 724 light years from Earth. However, other calculations put it farther away. Betelgeuse and other red supergiant stars are notoriously difficult to pin down in terms of distance. Betelgeuse is one of the sky's brightest stars, despite its great distance from Earth. Compared to the Sun, it is around 100,000 times brighter. Although Betelgeuse is incredibly brilliant, its fuel will be quickly depleted by its great energy, causing its demise to be expedited. At some point, the star will deplete its fuel supply and collapse from its own gravity. Its principal nuclear fuels have been exhausted, and its demise is imminent. It will undergo a supernova explosion and transform into a neutron star, or more probably, a black hole if our current theories are right. Is Betelgeuse a threat to Earth? Surely the consequences of a supernova explosion that happens within a few tens of light years from Earth would be disastrous. Some supernova explosions have the potential to emit enough light to illuminate a whole galaxy. Therefore, we would be unable to turn a blind eye to the behavior of one of our nearby neighbors, such as Alpha Centauri. Radiation of various types would still be emitted, even if its brightness were comparable to that of the Moon. Our galaxy has been devoid of supernovae since 1604. However, one exploded in 1987 in the Large Magellanic Cloud, and its impacts could be seen clearly from as far as 169,000 light years away. The fact that the big cloud is so far away is a blessing, even though there was no danger. A fascinating idea is the danger zone that typically surrounds a supernova, even if supernovae pale in comparison to gamma ray bursts and aren't the biggest explosions in the cosmos, they're nonetheless terrible news. They can unleash deadly radiation on planets and wipe out biospheres. New research suggests that some types of supernovae might damage a planet's ozone layer even after a long time has passed since the explosion, which poses a new risk. When supernovae burst, giant stars can momentarily reach some of the universe's highest luminosities. The luminosity of a single supernova can surpass that of a galaxy containing hundreds of billions of stars. Is it possible for a Betelgeuse supernova to wipe out Earth? When the star goes supernova, it will overtake the Sun as the brightest celestial object in the sky. Betelgeuse will be visible during the day and will shine brighter than a full moon, 
although being more than 724 light years away from Earth. During the peak of the explosion, which will last for a few weeks, shadows will be cast even at night. The amount of energy released by a supernova as visible light is actually quite tiny, despite the dreadful brightness of the explosion. Extremely high levels of visible light can cause blindness, but otherwise it usually doesn't do much damage. The X-rays and gamma rays that are associated with the supernova are the most worrisome aspect. A potential threat to Earth's protective ozone layer is the catalytic breakdown of oxygen by means of high-energy radiation. Life on Earth would be in danger of extinction if the ozone layer weren't there to shield us from the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays. A radioactive burst happens in the first few seconds of a supernova, but the real danger doesn't appear until much later. After what seems like an eternity, the vortex will finally burst, releasing subatomic particles that have been propelled to nearly the speed of light. These rays are known as cosmic rays. They transport a significant amount of the total supernova energy and can also destroy ozone layers and coat a planet's surface with radiation, which is lethal. Perhaps such events occurred at some point in the past. Iron 60, a radioactive iron isotope produced exclusively in supernova explosions, has been detected in high concentrations in lunar regolith and deep sea cores. Research indicates that Iron 60 indicates that Earth was hit by supernova ejecta very recently, maybe within the past few million years. Since no nearby supernova candidates pose a threat to Earth life from cosmic rays or gamma rays, astronomers have concluded that we are mostly secure. On the other hand, a new potential threat has been identified by astronomers. A certain kind of supernova may release additional, long-range radiation that is lethal to planets like Earth. Supernovae of a certain type occur when a star in its final stages is enveloped in a large disk of material. Following the first supernova explosion, a shockwave travels outward and hits that disk. A great deal of X-ray radiation is produced by the disk as a result of its rapid heating caused by the shockwave. The energy density and propagation distance of this radiation are extremely high. Extremely powerful X-ray supernovae have the potential to destroy an entire planet's ozone layer, enough to trigger an extinction event 150 light-years away, by depleting it by as much as 50%. A deadly one-two punch would be dealt by such supernovas. Even after months or years have passed since the first explosion, a delicate planet would continue to be hit hard by X-rays. After what seemed like an eternity, the cosmic rays finally arrived, doing the job before the biosphere could repair and regrow its protective layer. It is fortunate that no candidate X-ray supernova has been detected in the vicinity of Earth. But this study has added new constraints to the cosmic habitable zone, the region in every galaxy where life can survive. The pace of star formation is too low in the outer parts of a galaxy to create rocky planets. Stars' dense centers, where they live and die rapidly, are just as deadly as any other location due to the radiation from supernovae. The new study suggests that the inner edge of the galactic habitable zone is probably farther from the galaxy's center than was previously believed. Even though it gets hit sometimes, Earth is in one of the safest neighborhoods in the galaxy. How long until Betelgeuse goes off? It is quite unlikely that it will happen while we are alive. But when it will go off is a mystery to everyone. Either right now or in a million years, it might happen. From Earth, what would the Betelgeuse supernova explosion appear like? Although the Earth's ecology will remain unaffected, that doesn't mean that no one will take note. The brightness of Betelgeuse will be comparable to that of the half moon for over three months following its explosion as per Goldberg and Bauer. This is nine times fainter than the full moon. This immense luminosity would be concentrated in one spot, making it seem like a daytime sky beacon that casts shadows at night. Because of how utterly fascinating it would be, it would happen eventually. While the supernova would be visible during the day for around a year, its fading remnant would be visible for a number of years during the night. When Orion eventually fades away, its left shoulder will be gone. Supernovae don't pose much of a threat to Earth, 
but they could still cause some surprises. As an example, many creatures see artificial lights as being too similar to the moon, which they use as a navigational aid. It might cause some havoc to add another celestial body as dazzling as the moon. Strange as it may seem, astronomers would also have difficulty due to the impact on biodiversity. There won't be a dark period for astronomical observations for a while, which is already difficult. Betelgeuse is already a challenging star to examine, and the intense light would destroy their tools. Also, according to astronomers, if Betelgeuse defies expectations and bursts during our lifetimes, we will hear a lot about it. On Earth, detectors could start picking up the explosion's gravitational waves or neutrinos as early as one day before it happened. Envision a large section of the populace staying up all night to witness Betelgeuse's light show, anticipating its start and erupting in jubilation when it finally begins. Betelgeuse is intriguing to scientists regardless of whether or not it explodes. It's easy to examine because it's large and bright. This allows astronomers to study a star in great detail as it nears the conclusion of its life, which is a fascinating prospect. Intriguing physics exists within Betelgeuse's inner structure. Scientists have made educated guesses as to the current state of affairs based on what is known about the star and stars like it. The study suggests that there can be multiple factors influencing the brightness of Betelgeuse. There is speculation among astronomers that more than one dimming process could be at work at once. As their nuclear fuel runs out, red supergiant stars inflate and create expanding gas and dust envelopes. This process enhances the star's brightness as it approaches its end of life. On the other hand, Betelgeuse and other stars can change their brightness in additional ways. In addition, Red supergiant stars feature surface convective cells that are comparable to but considerably larger than our suns. These cells allow hot material to rise from the star's interior as a result of turbulence. Before reaching the surface, some of the material violently explodes into space, producing a huge radioactive belch that can temporarily change the star's brightness. A possible warning indication that Betelgeuse is about to explode is its dimming. In most cases, a dying star will have a brighter light as material falls from its surface, causing it to explode. The star could be becoming fainter because this stuff is enveloping it. No matter what causes it, the unusual behavior will show us new things about the last moments of red supergiant stars, and we can all watch from Earth. Finally, Betelgeuse will produce a supernova explosion at some point. If and when this happens, it will seem as if it's glowing during the day to us here on Earth. Again, I appreciate you tuning in to this episode. Click the video on your screen to see more incredible space videos while you're here.